Okay, this is day 143, the Ohm's Law Lab. And it says here, the purpose, we will rediscover a basic equation for circuits by doing an experiment. Relevance, this equation is used in all circuits. We will use, oh, we also learn how to use Google Sheets to make a graph. We've done that before, we'll review that. And this skill can be used in many courses and careers, this Google Sheets thing. Success, you'll be able to make a graph and use it to derive Ohm's Law. Uh, you'll use that equation to do homework problems. Today's grades are going to be homework 143 and uh, lab 143. Next quiz grade is in a couple days. Procedure. It says here lay the batteries end to end on a trough. So that's right here. We have uh, five of them lined up. Be sure they are all pointed in the same direction. So I have little bumps on the right hand side of each one. Get a multimeter, set it to the 20 volt setting. I have that right here. The needle, the dotted point of the dial is pointing to the 20 in the voltage section. It says DCV here for direct current voltage. Make a series circuit with all five batteries, one resistor, and the ammeter. So here are the five batteries. Current is going to go out the positive end. We're talking about positive current here. And it's going to go through the amperes, uh, the amp meter, and it goes out the red. And then we have this little 10 ohm resistor here, 10 ohms. And then the green wire goes back to the batteries, like this. It says record the voltage of the batteries and the current through the circuit. Use the table below. Okay, so let's first look at the voltage. That's going to be by the multimeter here. Wait for it to settle down on a certain number. And there it settles. Okay, that's the voltage on the multimeter. The yellow machine. Okay, now let's send, let's complete the circuit with the ammeter involved. Now we are set, uh, the wires are in the low terminal. So remember that means that you read the scale here with the low numbers. We have 0 to 10 and 0 to 1, so obviously you're going to look at the 0 to 1 scale. The lower scale, let me hook this up again with it zoomed into that location so you can read it better. There you go. Now read the lower scale. Remember that scale goes from 0 to 1. Alright, that is with uh, 5 batteries and you're going to record those two pieces of information right here on trial number one, five batteries, the current, that's with the ammeter we just read, and then the voltage, that's with the yellow multimeter previously. Okay, now we're going to go to two, uh, four batteries. So we take one of these off. And let's see here. Here is the current, the current in the ammeter. Let's read the voltmeter. There's the voltmeter, the yellow. Okay, then we go to three batteries. Here is the current. There's the current. And now let's do the voltage. This is with three batteries now. Okay, two batteries. Here's the current. And here's the 
voltage. Two batteries. Read the yellow meter, the multimeter. Okay, one battery. Read the ammeter needle for the current. Remember the lower scale is from 0 to 1, and so that first number 2 is actually a point 0.2, and then there's a point 0.4 and a point 0.6. Make sure that you noted that with your earlier trials. And now uh, here's the voltmeter across that one battery. Hopefully you remember from previous battery labs that these little AA, AAA, D-sized batteries are all about 1.5 volts if they are the regular alkaline. Rechargeable batteries, uh, they only go up to like 1.2. Okay, so there's all your information. You should have all this chart here now filled in, current and voltage, and then go ahead and follow the directions for graphing your data.